this is uh, the part one video of our series of user form design uh, basically what we are trying to do is to give a look to a user form as in desktop based application a client based application so the very basic feature uh, what we'll do in this video will make a user form will hide the title bar will make the user form to resize itself based on the desktop's uh, resolution and then we'll add a close button in the user form just like this just, just like this button which will have the hover effect also so let's see what, what we have uh, in this video this is the user form we designed uh, very simple user form very basic user form nothing else in there just one label and the background picture attached to it this is the background picture attached to it and said this uh, this is set to the stretch mode this is the label button named x and captioned x this is the close button for the user form okay let's let's launch this user form let's see what how it appears now now this is the user form without any further coding and anything else now this user form has the title and the close button up here and this is the button we are trying to what so what we'll do we'll remove the title bar so see see the, the the drawback of title bar is that you can move the user form away from the sheet you can we can just move it away from the sheet and we can if the user form is set to non model we can still work on the sheet <coughs> so what we'll do we we'll, we have this hide user form api settings so this is the code for hiding the title bar of the user form now this is the function which is used in the user form initialization code to hide the title bar hide bar and the user form name so if we see here this is this is the function which is used to hide the title bar so now if if i just comment out the resizing part and hide the uh, title now if we launch this now there is no title bar there is no close button and we cannot move this user form now well, the only way to close it to close it through this this is how we uh, code it to close the user form now let's say if we comment out the hide bar and try to resize the user form now if i open the user form the user form stretches itself to the boundaries of the desktop uh, uh, display now the, still the problem is we can move the user form away and uh, the, the the person who is using can see the sheet what sheet what is on the sheet and uh, most likely this user form will be as we develop the application further this user form will be a non-model user form so the person if it is movable the person can uh, see the sheets and change the content of the sheets also so it is very important to make it non-movable user form now so now if i uh, hide the title bar and resize it and now if i launch it so now the the user form stretches itself to the max and it is not movable now the only way to close it is this so that that's the two part what we saw if we launch it again the user form stretches itself and there's no title bar and the user form cannot be moved next now the the little hover effect okay so let's let's go to this resize uh, coding what what is in the resize coding so with user form one first what we do application dot window state is excel maximized what it is doing it is maximizing the excel application itself this is the excel application it is maximizing the excel application itself before launching the user form now the user form top zero user form left zero user form height should be application dot height and this minus 12 is the custom uh, adjustment done to bring the boundaries within the display that's the that's the little custom adjustment we have to do with this 
now same with the application dot width minus 12 now this is the close button which we added to the user form the, the position of the close button is also set dynamically x uh, dot left is user form width minus the width of the x button minus 6 and top is always 0 so this is the very simple resizing uh, code for the user form now if I launch it so you will see this now to add the little hover effect on the close button this is the code user form dot mouse move and x mouse move what it basically does is this alters the color between the uh, mouse move event uh, the back color becomes yellow and four color becomes red here the back color becomes red and four color becomes yellow that's the only thing it is doing now if I launch it now see this is doing the little hover effect on the user form so this is the part one video for designing the uh, access based application which we uh, intend to design for uh, to accessing the data sending the data modifying the data to the uh, access database and which is with and uh, the excel file will work as the front end to the multiple users whereas our data will be secured in the access file thank you